Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Minecraft. Um, today I kind of just wanted to do a little update video. Um, this weekend I was able to um, play a lot of Minecraft, and although I was not able to record any videos, um, I still got a lot of stuff done. Um, so the first thing I know last episode we left off, uh, I was trying to get this beacon eh, working, and I got it. So that's good. We get speed and regeneration. So that's the first thing. I put it the whole way down in my mines um, so that we get it throughout. Um, a, a lot of this episode, I think, is just going to be kind of showing you some ideas I have and showing you um, maybe you could judge by the title that the keep um, the outside is done. So I'm going to have to show you that. That's the number one thing I've been doing. Um, but I don't know if you are familiar, but you can kind of tell that this area is changed now. Um, let's see if that grass has grown. It has not. Um, I flattened this out with the help of Sorka, and um, I have some big plans for this place. Um, so I realized that I only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses in here, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this area in front of the keep. Um, so we're going to have to figure that out. But I wanted, I still wanted poor people houses, so I think what I'm going to do is right here, right where my cursor is going, is I'm going to make um, either like a NPC village, like a big one, or just some crappy uh, houses I can think of for like the poor people. Um, and then that, there's going to be a line here where my cursor is going, and from about here to like eh, this circle uh, is just going to be a huge wheat field with a windmill in it. I'm going to put a windmill back there. And then this area I flattened out, uh, I'm going to put the military camp, uh, like where my army will be, and there's going to be some horses from the corral at the lumber yard, which I just realized maybe... Uh, I think I have to walk there to update that. So we'll do that later. Um, but yeah, f so let's... Um, let's check out the keep without uh, any more procrastination. Um, I think it came out really good, um, there's one spot we'll talk about, uh, do I have ender pearls? No. Um, one spot we'll talk about that I, I can't really think of anything to do with it, um, so maybe you guys can offer some suggestions, um, sorry I didn't remember I had all this stuff, um, alright, we're ready, I got some ender pearls to kind of show you, um, around a little better. So, here we go. This is the keep. Um, like I said, I think it's, I think it turned out really well. Um, first thing, uh, this bridge, it's just a small little bridge, but I think it turned out nice. Um, but what I wanted to come up here for is, well, you can get a kind of sense of how big it is on the inside. And in some episodes, we're going to decorate the inside, have a throne room, you know. We're going to do that together, um, especially because I built this all off camera. But right now, um, I'm having people look into ideas for um, a piston door here, like our gate, but maybe like a 3x3, three three, something a little special instead of just, uh, you know, a door. But before we take any closer look at the keep, I want to go up on the wall so we can get a nice view and show you how I incorporated the wall into the keep because um, I didn't just want it to end so I thought this was a pretty good idea we can get a view as we go here um, this I guess is a good time as any to talk about the some of the things I had planned um, one I kinda thought about building up stone right here and having like a waterfall but I don't think I'm gonna do that and two this area I thought looked really just like flat and I was gonna put another one of these towers up there but I couldn't really figure out a way um, to do it with it looking nice and right now it doesn't look too bad so I might end up keeping it like that I'm not sure um, but what I did was when you come down this original wall um, you get to the side of the keep and you can go either way and I just threw some doors in here and you can go you can go completely around the keep, um, which I thought was kind of cool that I kept that. And I wanted to keep the keep, keep the keep, 
um, the same building style as the walls, which you can see. Um, maybe I'll go here so you can get a better view. Um, like those are the sides and those are the walls. Uh, pretty similar. Um, I went with the double tower corners. I thought that looked pretty nice. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this isn't like a very nice place to build um, an extra tower on. It was kind of hard to get the shape down. Um, but come on, thank you. Uh, I, this it's an incredible view, really. Um, so like I said, out there is going to be the windmill with the wheat farm, some poor people houses, and we cleared this land um, for the camp. So I think that'll be really cool. Um, I guess I'll show you the back and front of this from, like, oh shoot, I didn't get that off at all. Um, so here's the back. It looks about the same as the front. I think I got something wrong at the top, um, but it turned out good. I like the fact that the back of the keep is part of the wall. I think that's a good idea. Um, I mean, like, it comes out from the wall, if that makes any sense. Um, but now we'll just try and show you a better view of the fr Ow, front. These ender pearls are going to kill me. Um, see, this is, the, this is the area I didn't know about. It's, it's kind of just blank. Maybe um, fountains or something. But let's just go over here. Ignore the sheep. Uh, I changed my shop to sell wool, so... Uh, I've been taking orders. Did I overshoot that a lot? I did. Um, let's throw that there. But uh, even from a distance, I think this looks really good. Um, I said, like I was going to say pretty, but um, I think it turned out really well. And I'm excited to get into the interior. Um, but again, I don't. I'm going to at least wait until the door is done, the redstone door, because I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Oh, on another note, we did not win the Halloween competition. We got second, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, I don't really have anything planned right now. This is kind of a update video quick, because um, I haven't been able to record, so um, I just thought I'd get this out there and have it updated so that next episode we can get stuff started working. Um, so with that, uh, I'm going to end this episode, and uh, I really would like to either hear feedback of what you think of my castle, of uh, the keep, or if you have some ideas for that flat edge right there, um, because I really truly have no idea. I'm, I, whoa, uh, I can't think of anything. I think it doesn't look too bad right now, like as is. Um, but we'll see, and I think I'm going to try and link this somehow, um, I'm not sure, but with that I'm going to, like I said before, end this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it was quick and just a little update, which I feel like most of the episodes I've been doing have been updates, um, but I mean, it's impos it would have been impossible for me to do this on camera, um, so... Again, I'd love to hear your feedback, and I will see you guys in the next episode.